Hey guys, welcome to Griffo's Retro Gaming. And today I'm doing the, as promised, tour of Sawfum Retro, which was part of my birthday week off. I went to the game pad in Scarborough before I went to Sawfum, and that was my last video. And I have something in this video relating to the game pad in Scarborough, which I'll go into a bit later on. But yeah, every time I go to York, I just have to go to Sawfum Retro. It is a brilliant store. Um, some people say it's a little bit pricey. I don't think so. I think it's about the same as um, all the other retro gaming stores and even the retro gaming markets. And Lee, the owner, really nice guy. He'll always do some, well, I shouldn't say always, but more than likely he'll do a little bit of haggling with you if you buy enough, as you would expect anyway. But yeah, the, the store is just crammed from... The very second you go in, there's like controllers hanging from the ceiling and things like that. The the shelves go all the way up to the ceiling as well, almost, and right to the top, from the very bottom right to the top, it's just full of games and consoles. It is fabulous. If you've never been, I highly recommend it. I know a lot of people, a lot of the YouTubers do go there. Um, Lee from Sawfum, the owner, he also does the gaming events, so he's usually at Doncaster, London... Leeds, places like that. But enough of me waffling on. I'll show you some footage, give you a flavour of what the store's really like, and then I'll go into what I buy. I've also got some pickups from CEX in York. Not many, but still, it's worth popping into this video. Anyway, just watch, <laughs> see what you think. <laughs> And that's Sawfum Retro, which, like I say, and as you can tell, is fantastic. I think this is the third video I've done from there. I may have to stop, <laughs> but um, yeah, I just love the place. I really do, as do many other YouTubers. And unfortunately, on this particular day, there wasn't much for me in what I was looking for. I was looking for original Xbox, but... I had most of the games that was there. I did pick out one which I did need and a bit pricey in terms of Xbox games at £20, but 
it's a really nice copy that I got and I'm really happy with it. But I'll start off with the pickups that I got from CEX first and then I'll just go into Southam Retro. Um, there's only three to show you. Two, not three. There's only two to show you. So the first one is an Xbox game that I needed and it is The Italian Job. Based on the movie, I believe, the 23rd, uh, sorry, 2003 version, not the original with Michael Caine, and you're in your mini, just, yeah. <laughs> the ironic thing about this, or oh, is it in, no, I think, no, I think it is actually in French. The disc, I don't know, I haven't put it into the machine yet, but the disc looks like it's got a French title, whereas the actual game is in English even the back there's no French on it so I'd, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be if it's a just a euro copy or anyway it's not a big deal for 50p and it will play in English on the original Xbox so a good one to add to the collection and the next game that I got was a collector's edition which is an upgrade for me on I think the one that I've got at the moment just has a slipcase this is a collector's edition with everything in immaculate condition the cards haven't been opened and things like that for for five pounds yeah definitely and it is Final Fantasy X30 oh Final Fantasy 13 2. <laughs> X13, that'd be 23, wouldn't it? So, um, yeah, this is a really nice example. It's got an art book there. I'm just... Um, so some really nice drawings. It doesn't look like it's ever been opened or looked at. Um, some beautiful drawings in there. As you would expect from the art of Final Fantasy. Um, oh bit of a fever bothering me i do apologize and that is i don't know who that is i've not played the game um but it is a lenticular 3d sort of portrait of her it's really nice and um yeah it is really nice i, I don't if i like the game i may frame that but anyway there's a soundtrack with six Six songs on there. The music from Final Fantasy games are usually really good as well. And some... The postcard stars, but not actually postcards. But it's got loads of different characters in. And these are still sealed. Which I thought, yeah. I mean, for five quid. It's got to be worth more than that. Especially in a few years. So. Not that I'm bothered by that, but it's just a really nice collector's piece. Okay, so to Saw Thumb Retro, and yeah, like I was saying, there wasn't much in the way of Xbox and Xbox 360 that I need or wanted. Um, in terms of Nintendo DS, there wasn't an awful lot for me either, and I ended up mainly getting Game Boy games. So there's four Game Boy games to show, and an original Xbox game. One of the Game Boy games is Boxed, which I'll start with, actually. And it's a really good game for what you'd expect as well on the Game Boy. Just take it out of the box. And it is James Bond 007. Absolutely fantastic little game. And it's one that I have been wanting to get on the box as well. I haven't got a um, super... Nintendo or a Super Game Boy, but it is a Super Game Boy pack, so you'll be able to add a bit of colour to it. And you know, I don't know if there'll be some frames on there, maybe, but the game, which is a lovely condition, or sticker wise, anyway. And yeah, nothing else, just the box and the insert with the instructions, which are a bit rough, but I can deal with that. I've, I've said previously that I'm collecting games like just the cartridge only for the Game Boy because they cost so much, but 
Um, I saw this and I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll get that box. It's for 30 quid as well. Um, like I say, it is a good game, and I felt 30 quid was probably worth it. I'd seen some on eBay, slightly better condition, um, going for around 40, 50. So I consider that a decent buy. Tell me in the comments anyway, but yeah, I'm happy with that. And I got some loose cartridges for the Game Boy. And the first one is a game which you associate more with the Atari, but it is Yaz Revenge, if it'll focus. I'm going to struggle with this, I think. There you go, Yaz Revenge. I'll put some gameplay footage up. As you can see from the sticker, it was £5, and it's not a very good game. But <laughs> I thought, now nah, I'll, I'll get that and give it a go. Um, yeah, £5 for a Game Boy cartridge isn't too bad the, in this day and age. And uh, yeah, on the I know it's highly rated on the Atari. I wasn't too sure about the Game Boy, but yeah, not for me. It's just like a shooter type thing. Next up is another crap game, but I'd recently got two other games in a previous video, so I thought, well, I might as well complete it. Although they were boxed, this isn't. And it is WWF Warzone. And it is crap. <laughs> I actually like the game on the consoles. Um, on the... Yeah, it's on the N64 and PlayStation, original PlayStation. It's not on the Dreamcast. No. But yeah, I, I do like the game on those platforms. It's like WWF Attitude. It's, it's an acclaimed game. So you input up, up, down, X to do a DDT or whatever. But the the roster is from pretty much the end of 1997. And it's still got Bret Hart in there. Uh, British Bulldog Owen Hart and Steve Austin, Goldust. I'm doing this from memory. Uh, these are all on the on the Game Boy game as well. Ahmed Johnson, Ken Shamrock, Rocky Maivia, not The Rock. Um, Farouk, I think's in there. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty decent roster if you like that period of time in WWE or WWF. And yeah, I did. I thought Bret Hart and the Hart Foundation were absolutely fantastic. And um, it was a shame to see Bret go, but yeah. Anyway, don't get it on the Game Boy, it's dreadful. <laughs> okay, and the last Game Boy game, which I've been wanting for a while. I did have it when it first came out, and it's Sister Game, which I'm still to get. But it is Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons. And there is one called Oracle of Ages which they're both done by Capcom. Now, they're both the same as in terms of style and a lot of the like weapons and items that you get very, 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 very similar to Link's Awakening in its art style and things like that. But these were done by Capcom. And they added a bit more of sort of a puzzle to it which is really good um, in this particular one you have the four seasons and you've got to use them to your advantage so you could be wanting to get across a lake to a little bit of island or a new part of the map so you'd change the season to winter and that'd freeze the water allowing you to walk across you can also get to high places if you change the seasons to summer um, if there's a big seed there, you can push it towards the gap, then change the season to summer so that the vines have grown up and then you can climb to get to your destination. It's a really, really imaginative and inventive game considering the hardware it's on. And yeah, if you've never played these two games, I highly recommend them. In fact, if you're a Zelda fan, I can't imagine you're not having played them but yeah the fantastic either way this was 35 pounds i believe it's 30 in cex i got five pounds off 
from Lee in the end anyway. So, and it's in nice condition. It's real as well. And I don't have to go through the hassle of returning it if I was to buy it online. So really happy with that pickup and just the ages one to get. And the last game that I got from Lee was a £20 original Xbox game. I don't think I've even opened this yet. So it does need a bit of a box replacement. There's some sticker residue which won't come off. But it is Obscure, which is a survival horror game. I've not played it. I've not seen any reviews either. I've done that deliberately because I really want to try and get into this. It's supposed to be a decent game from what people have said. Whether the critics liked it is another story entirely, but all complete. And yeah, it's a slightly pricey game on the original Xbox. I'm not sure about PlayStation. It is on the PlayStation 2, but I'm not sure what the price is like on there. But graphical-wise, it looks fantastic. Um, I'm just trying to see. It says... Microsoft on it because uh, it, it does look very Resident Evil so I was having a look to see if it's a Capcom game but it doesn't look like it is but yeah anyway it says survival horror hits the high school the first action adventure in the style of American teen slasher movies yeah when the when the days get a bit darker I'll be hoping to get into that I've still got a few others to play as well and I really want to try and complete um, Call of Cthulhu as well which is a fantastic game I've got so far into it but yeah I really want to complete that but when when it's summer the light just reflects off the screen there's nothing I can do even with the curtain shut I still I don't know it just not a very good room in that respect I mean, it's good for filming in but yeah for playing the consoles not so great and that's my pickups from Sawthumb Thumb Retro, which, again, is a brilliant store. And if you're in York, do check it out. It's well worth your time, it really is. They, they carry so many different consoles and games from various consoles. You know, it, I can't do it justice. I hope the film has done it justice because... It kind of is sensory overload. There's a lot of toys in there as well, which I didn't mention. I did have a look at the Hasbro WWF figures, which I do enjoy. I've got quite a few, and I'm looking for some in particular. Just as a as a bit of a jerk, I really want Repo Man. Um, I have got, or I'm hoping to get Skinner off Dainster when I see him at the gaming market. Hopefully he's put that aside. And, yeah, a few others that I really want. But, yeah, highly recommend going there. Now, I'm going to end on a absolute high here. So, in my last video, I went to Gamepad in Scarborough. And there was a game in there which I passed up. And I had quite a lot of comments. E even at the time, I was like... I. When I saw the film back, I thought, no, I shouldn't have passed that up. I should have bought it. But I had a few people saying, what have you done? You know, it's an absolute bargain. I can't believe you didn't pick it up. And they're absolutely right. So I messaged Ron. I think it's Ron from Barraclough. I messaged him and asked if he would post it out to me, which... He agreed to do. I paid him a little bit extra for the packaging and to post it. I don't think it's something he normally does, but he was very helpful in doing that. And he even honoured the price which he quoted me when I was in the store. So for £40 and postage, I got Resident Evil Gaiden, Gaiden on the Game Boy, which is a pretty uncommon game. And it goes for... In CEX, it goes for £95. And, you know, £95 for a Game Boy game, the cartridge only. Absolutely phenomenal buy. And I think, I think on eBay as well, it's roughly the same. It goes for quite a lot. Very difficult to get boxed. 
and it's hard to tell whether the boxes are real or not because it's one of the few Game Boy games where the inside of the box is white and that's usually an indicator to show you the usually that speckled sort of egg box sort of colour but yeah the fake boxes are usually normally white on the inside so that's usually an indication that the box is fake but in this instance the resident evil gaiden gaiden game does have a white inside on the box but yeah if you can get hold of the box alone it's probably about the same sort of price it's ridiculous but yeah it's an interesting game as well um they've really done a good job in porting it down to the game boy and it's an okay sort of game from what I've played so far. It's hard to get into it as such, but I I need to give it a proper go, and hopefully I will. So with that and my luck in getting every week, Wendy every which way for a pound, I've got two expensive games for less than half the price. I'm absolutely delighted. So Ron, if you're watching, thank you. And to everybody else, Thank you for making my mind up for me and uh, making me panic and message Ron. So it's finally in my collection anyway. So that's my journey to York and Saw Thumb Retro. And I hope you enjoyed the footage and the video and everything I bought. So I just want to say thank you for watching. And I'll see you again very soon with... I'm hoping to do a review video. I want to try and do something other than a pickup video to, you know, just change things up on the channel a little bit. I think it's getting a bit stale with these pickup videos, but yeah, I'm happy with what I got and hopefully you've enjoyed this video. So take care and thanks for watching. I'll see you again.